Okay guys, we got something a little special for you, so uh, let's get this started. Have a seat. We're going to start off by getting those quadriceps. So bring your foot to the side of your body, bring your butt towards your heel like you just saw, and then lean back as far as you can. If it's possible, you can bring your elbows or even your shoulders to the floor. Just make sure your foot looks like mine and your butt is close to your heel. Some people like to even sit on their foot. If that's comfortable to you, then you can do that. Okay. Go on and uh, come out of that stretch, and we're going to go over to the other side. So again, set yourself up so your foot is pretty much right up on your butt or, for some people, underneath your butt. And then lean back as far as you can. Start off the way you see on video. Go to your elbows if you can, or go to your shoulders if that's possible. Okay, you can come out of that stretch. Next thing we're going to do, get into a deep lunge. Rest your back knee on the floor. Squeeze your butt and put your hands on your knee for support. We're working on the back hip flexor. So squeeze the butt. And one thing you could do is try to lean back. Just make sure you're not leaning back excessively or else you'll cause some undue strain on your lower back, which is never fun. Okay, go ahead and come out of that. Go to the other side. So again, back leg is on the floor, knees resting. Hands are on the knee for support and you're squeezing your butt. You want your upper body at least in the same line as your uh, leg is going. So if you see there's one straight line from the knee, sort of, to the shoulder. But you can also get into a position that your upper body is straight up or slightly lean back. Again, just as, not, just as long as it's not putting any pressure on your lower back. Okay, we're going to move on from that. Get on the floor, squeeze your butt, push up, make sure your shoulders are not in your ears, so depress your shoulders down, keep your elbows extended. For those of us that are a little bit extra flexible, you can actually move your hands more towards your hips. If you're less flexible, you can actually do this stretch just from your elbows. Okay, go ahead and move on. We're going to get those shoulders, so reach one hand out to the side. Twist on over. Bring the leg over if you have room. Okay, we're going to go and switch to the other side. So extend the other arm out, twist over, bring the foot over if you have room. And just feel that stretch in your chest and shoulders and a little bit of bicep.
Okay, go in, uh, go in and come out of that. We're going to do some extra credit. So let's spend some time in a position that you might be not so comfortable in. So get into a squat stance. And just sit in the bottom of a squat. So all the stretches we were holding, uh, we're doing for 30 seconds. Today, we're going to challenge you guys to hold this for a minute. When I did this, I actually brought my feet in a little bit closer than usual. And what that's going to do for me is um, accentuate the stretch on my uh, ankles, so my calves, which is generally a problem area for me. If my feet were wider, it would be attacking more of the hips. But regardless, just keep the feet flat. You can relax the low back a little bit. Try not to let your hands support you. My elbows are actually just in between my knees. And as with all stretches, just breathe deep through your stomach. Ten seconds, guys. Okay, that is it for that minute. Good job if you survived. If not, next time you'll get it. See you later.